What's the deal, my people? You know this, Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you another one. And this one is the Game of Thrones Season 8 Official Tease Crips of Winterfell trailer broke down. Let's get it. Hey, yo, I am so excited for this, my people, because I did not expect to get this. Now, we have gotten teaser trailers in the past. We have gotten the ones with the dragons melting away, and we've gotten ones with Jon Snow sitting down next to Cersei Lannister. But this, by far, is the best one yet. HBO has saved the best for last. I can't not wait to talk about it. Let's just talk about it right now. Now this teaser is in the crypts of Winterfell and the first thing I take away from this is that Jon Snow will find out about his parentage in the crypts of Winterfell. It's gonna happen down there. That's where either Bran's gonna tell him or Sam's gonna tell him. But someone's gonna tell him in the crypts of Winterfell. Now as you watch Jon walking through these crypts, we can notice that the music is very sad playing right now. And we hear Lyanna say, you have to protect him. Now this is the reason why I do believe that Jon's going to find out about his parentage in the crypts of Winterfell. When he walks by her, we see the feather drop to the floor and it gets dark, saying that something bad is going to happen later on in this trailer. And not just in this trailer, at Winterfell itself. Winterfell is going to burn to the floor. I hate to say it, but that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. I don't even know if we're going to have a Winterfell when this is all said and done. But as we see, Jon continues down the crypts to Winterfell and immediately it switches to Sansa Stark. Now when we deal with, with Lyanna Stark, we know that it's always been Sansa that's in the crypts tending to Lyanna's statue. And we see Sansa's hair and then it goes right past Past that to a statue of her mother and we see that they both have the same hairstyle hair has a big thing with Sansa we've seen her change her hair to Cersei when she went down there and now she's back to holding her hair as a northern lady we hear Catelyn say all this horror that has come to my family all because I couldn't love a motherless child and it switches to Arya even though we know that she's talking about Jon Snow at this time but we can also take Arya as a child with no mother also because we've seen exactly what happened when Catelyn left Winterfell some people think she should have stayed but that's another video but it both things that we hear both clips that we heard from both ladies both refer back to Jon Snow it then switches from Arya Stark to Jon Snow, one of the most anticipated reunions that everyone's looking forward to seeing, Arya Stark and Jon Snow. I know I am. Let me know in the comment section if you are. And then Jon is the one to go by Lord Eddard's statue, and we hear him say, you may not have my name, but you have my blood. So all three references we get in the Crypts of Winterfell all refer back to Jon Snow. We see the Stark girls arrive together and Jon Snow approaching them in the crypts of Winterfell. And then we see Arya Stark with a shock look on her face and then all of them eventually get this same shock look on their face when they turn their head. Now even though we know this is, isn't official footage from the season that's going on, this is actually the first time we do get to see Arya and Jon Snow together. In fact, it's the first time we get to see the remaining Starks without Bran all together right now in the Crypts of Winterfell. I would have loved that they would have had Bran there together, but just to see all three of them together, something I've wanted to see for a long time. I'm sure you have felt the same exact way, and that's why I really do like this teaser trailer that they focus on the Starks because I think that's what this show is truly about. From the beginning to the end, the Starks have gotten the raw deal, you know, and right now could be the time that the Starks are about to shine. But right when you start thinking like that, this is when Game of Thrones got to get Game of Thrones on you. Because when they turn their head, we see them staring at statues of themselves. Their death 
right now looking them all right in their face and i think that's what it's meant to signify look at the statue of Arya, so cute with the little needle in the hand i don't want her to die but her statue does look cute you can't you can't front it does look cute she looks so much younger Arya, in that statue compared to the other people's statue sansa's statue looks good and Jon snow just looks like a northerner he, like he looks like he has no targaryen blood when you look at his statue at all but as I said a little bit earlier, all three things that we heard the characters say in the background for narration were all dealing with Jon Snow. And that's why I think that in the Crypts of Winterfell, this is where he's going to find out about his birthright. The show then gets, the teaser I should say, gets a little dark when we see the ice start forming in and it rolls over the feather first. You know, rolling over Jon Snow's mother first that's doing. And this is what comes from the death that comes from them. This is what it's going to be. And it shows to me that it's not going to be political. They're not going to get killed by anything political. If they're going to die, these three Starks, it's going to be at the hands of the White Walkers. And we see who pulls their swords out it's Jon Snow and Arya and Sansa stands in the back so if people saying things about Sansa having a guard a Queen's guard this could be proof of a Queen's guard for Sansa because as much as I want them all to survive I don't think they're all gonna survive I think one of them's gonna go I won't say it in this video I'm gonna do a live stream to break down this trailer detail by detail with some friends later on this week check that out make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you do but this shot right here here, Jon Snow, Sansa, and Arya Stark in the midst of the snow, of the frost, with the crypts of Winterfell, their own death statues behind them, shows you that April 14th, when this jumps off, everything is on the line for the Starks. I think we all know that, but I just have to say it anyway. I'm just excited right now. I hope you are excited as I am right now, but what an epic epic teaser trailer we got right there please in the comment section let me know what you think i'm gonna get more in depth in this later on in the week but this is just my quick breakdown peace and stay sexy